the uh, Greater Accra Regional Hospital is adequately prepared to handle any possible outbreak of the coronavirus disease in Ghana. My colleague Portia Gabo is currently at the Infectious Disease uh, Isolation Unit of the hospital and is joining us uh, live with some update. China have so far confirmed the outbreak of the coronavirus disease in their respective countries, even though the disease is not yet here in Ghana. The Ministry of Health has designated two centers, including the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, as one of the designated centers to handle a possible outbreak of the coronavirus disease. I'm currently here at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, and I have here with me Dr. Suofenyo. He is the medical director of the hospital. Doc, thank you so much for your time. Thank How you. prepared is the Greater Accra Regional Hospital in handling the coronavirus disease? Thank you very much, and then uh, good afternoon to the public. I can see that we are well prepared to handle any outbreak that may come into the country and any case that could be referred to the Greater Accra Regional Hospital. Right from the onset, once we heard of this outbreak, we have put in place an elaborate plan. Number one, we have an emergency response team. We activated the team and trained them as to what to expect. We did what we call the case definition and trained the staff on the case definition we included, we have recruited more staffs into the team in order to strengthen the team. We have also done, uh, we have also opened this place. This place, even though uh, this center was there, because we did not have any emergency, any infectious disease situation on hand, we locked it down. But with this news in the air, we have also opened the place, cleaned it, and then deployed all the necessary logistics. As I will soon show you, the logistics are already in place. And so I can say that we are well prepared. Even though we pray that we don't get the virus in, 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 in Ghana, if anything happens, uh, we will support the authorities to fight it. Should there be a possible outbreak of coronavirus in Ghana, if someone is brought into the center, what happens? Take us through. Okay, so you are now asking about a process map. So when an individual is detected, let's say, at an emergency, immediately uh, the infectious disease, what we call the disease surveillance team, will be activated. They will come and take the samples. Because the fact that you are suspected does not mean that you have a case. So you, the infectious disease unit will be, will be activated. They will come and take a sample, which will be sent to Noguchi Research Lab for confirmation. In the interim, he will be isolated and then brought to this center. And then he will be kept to, in one of the rooms, which I will show you around. For now, I can show you around. But once we have a patient, we can no longer conduct you around because now it's an empty space. So the patient will be transferred, transported in a special ambulance, which we are also designated. And then the staffs, the ambulance staffs, and all the necessary people who will have one thing to do or the other with the patient have all been trained how they should, how they are going to wear their protective gears or what we call the PPEs, that is the protective uh, equipments, uh -huh. personal protective equipment. They will wear them and transport her or him into this center. He will be kept in isolation until the results come. And if it's confirmed that he has a case, he will continue to keep him here and provide the support that he or she needs to survive. Now, if it is disconfirmed or it's not confirmed, then we will discharge the person back into the community. That is the whole idea. So now take us through the center. Okay. So moving into the structure, this is what we call the nurses station. This is supposed to be a sterile area. So only the nurses, patients will not come through the door we came through. Only the nurses will come through that door and then they will sit here. And as and when they want to provide care to the patient, that care must first be planned. Even as, as the nurse arrives from home, there are some basic protocols that the nurse will have to follow. He has to check his own body temperature, his or her own body temperature, and record. He has to also record the time of arrival. Those are basic protocols that we have established. And thereafter, if you want to provide a care for the patient, then you pick the personal protective equipment from the drawers into the changing room, uh -huh, into the changing room here. And then the nurse will then change into the personal protective equipment, and then move along this corridor, 
into the patient's room. So this is the, the changing room. So we have, as you can see, we have two rooms. Let's enter one of them. The design is the same in all the rooms. Now, as you enter this room, you realize that this is a completely self-containing unit. So we have a, a hand sanitizing uh, device here. So as from time to time, we will educate the patient to be continuously or from time to time sanitizing his hand so, that, so as to make sure that he's not contaminating the environment as much as possible. She has his bed, she has a container where anything she uses, because potentially it's hazardous, will be deposited in that yellow container. He has his own washroom, he's not going to share washroom. Such a patient will not share washrooms with other persons. So she has his own washroom, he has a, a tap that he can wash his hand, he has a wash area where he can also take a shower. So he will be held in this room, and this is a fairly comfortable it's not like imprisoning the person. This is a fairly comfortable unit where he will stay until the final results come. Okay. Well, what's the capacity of this room? This room has a capacity of four. What we are going to do is that we are trying to designate another center as the holding room while this place will be the treatment center. So eventually it is only people who are confirmed who will be transported to this place. So does that mean the holding room is not yet ready? The holding room is an area that is also ready. It's a holding area. It's also ready. But this is where the people who are confirmed will be brought. Thank you so very much. This is a substantive place. Thank you very much. Thank I've you. been speaking to Dr. Sofenyo. He is the medical director of the Greater Accra Regional Hospital. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health says it is collaborating with organizations such as the WHO to enhance Ghana's preparedness to tackle any possible outbreak of the coronavirus disease. From the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, Porsche Gabo, TV3 News, Accra.